Enfield. They just released a new motorcycle, the Shotgun 650. And then they are also releasing two other colors in a bike that they already make. So they invited me and 10 to 15 other people to come and ride these bikes around in Malibu for a day. So I'm gonna go. I don't really know who else is going other than Audrey Law, who is my best friend. So she told me she got invited, so. We are gonna go out there. They said they're giving us breakfast. They're leading us to Neptune's Net, getting us lunch. And then they have a photographer around that's gonna shoot with us and stuff. So I'm just going out for the ride. But yeah, I have to drive from Long Beach because it's an hour and a half in like really bad traffic. It just opened up for me just now. It starts at nine and ends at five. <laughs> So I either spend one extra hour hanging in my car or I risk my life lane splitting the entire 405 from the top to the bottom, which I just like don't like doing. It's just really dangerous and I feel like the chances of getting in an accident are so high that it's only worth it if I'm going on like getting out of town and going on a trip on the other side of the freeway. Living in LA is crazy, man, but this is my RAV4. It's a 2011 RAV4 and I rally this car. It's just like my work truck and I love it. I need a car for Axel Co, obviously, you know, so I, this is, this is my car. It's a piece of shit. I crash it all the time. People crash into me. I got rear-ended on the freeway not very long ago and you know, I'm able to just be like, whatever, freaking don't even care. You know, crappy car, own 12 motorcycles. I choose this. Anyways, let's go. Let's go check it out. Come with me for the day. Let's do it. This is what we're looking at. I've already been in traffic for an hour. But you know what? I just listened to my podcasts and I got my coffee and I kind of like it. <laughs> Sometimes you learn to love it, especially when it's worth it, you know? Coffee shop is insane. Ever seen anything like this? Six fifty cc engine, tried and true, right? Uh, twin engine, and give it a more muscular, contemporary feel with some more attitude. So I think you guys, you know, sheet metal gray, plasma blue, green drill, and stencil white. And in the room here, we have stencil white uh, behind. Her. It's cool. Here's our bikes. This is what Audrey's riding. Audrey, what are you riding? It's a 650. <laughs> <laughs> They're all 650s. I don't fucking know, dude. Can you give me the whole helmet? Oh my god. What is she saying? What kind of. She's being bad. I'm not being bad. Audrey's probably ridden one of these bikes more than anyone here. True. She, she was lead female talent. No, I was not the lead. Um, but for the follow up one, you were. Listen, we survived the river, okay? I got pink eye from that. <laughs> 
It's not my fault. I got pink eye from the LA River. Oh my <laughs> yeah. God. Really? Yes. Yeah. From it like yeah. coming yeah. up? Yes. Oh. Um, you could hear her screaming. <laughs> so they were doing passes. There was another guy. There was yeah. one guy who was riding in We made like, him go I was like, don't, I was like, don't ride though. in front of me. And then he's going in front of me really fast. Oh. While the water's shooting oh yeah. my God. And she was God. like all the way down. And you just hear, <laughs> And she gets there and I'm like, are you okay? She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, we could hear you screaming. She's like, no, you couldn't. I'm like, I'm what like, really far away. Yeah, what do you think? Looks good. What do you like better? Camera is all different. Looks good. <laughs> We were hitting some uh, landslides in Topanga Canyon. How's it feeling, Audrey? Getting pink eye? No, because we're not in LA River. Oh, okay. Yeah, station and two acres of land and my dad couldn't afford you know to buy all that and she goes, oh, if I had a half a brain I'd sell this place you know and he says well, well let, let me talk to you you know anyhow he could only afford the front the front is so we my dad at that time in 61 only bought the store and the gas station somebody else owns it. this is a everybody always says you know how did it become a biker hangout I mean, that's typical to go back. Back in the, the 50s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, there's a place right up the street here called Seminole Hot Springs. And that used to be a natural type sulfur hot springs. And that would bring everybody from Hollywood up Mulholland to go up there and soak in these hot springs and that sort of thing. And then in the 30s, FDR, the president at the time, he had polio. And he said, hey, look, if you want to cure or prevent polio, you have to soak in a natural type sulfur hot springs. <laughs> so that brought everybody up to this general area every Sunday. Yeah. And when they would ride up here, Steve McQueen used to have an old Triumph motorcycle and he would lean it against that big oak tree out there, you know, because it didn't have a kickstand. And when the people would ride up towards the hot springs, they would how's yeah, a guy riding a motorcycle in the middle of nowhere, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they found all the, you know, roads and different things like that. And, um, you, know, it, you know, it became popular with all the motorcyclists. In Some of you guys know, this is the old original Cooper that was here. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's a miracle. Stop at Neptune's net. What am I gonna get? Can we see you? Hold on. That might be what it was, maybe. Um, the content now is gonna kind of do a similar thing. Okay. Where they do some rollers. And then, um, 
We're gonna probably stop at one of like the uh, lookouts. Morgan, what's your thoughts on the Royal Enfield Shotgun 650? Shotgun 650, uh, it's cool. I like the aggressive chassis changes compared to the Super Meteor. It's a little bit more nimble, a little bit easier to ride in the canyons. Uh, I think the styling's a little bit funky. All right, good to hear. What's your thoughts on the Shotgun 650? I love the Shotgun <laughs> 650. He works for Royal Enfield. Oh shoot, <laughs> is this on? Is this on? I love it around Twisties the best yes. of anything in the lineup. Yes. Well, except maybe that GT. Oh. What are you riding? What do I ride? Yeah. I have the Continental GT 650. Oh, okay. Yeah. How's that around the Twisties? Well, I made it into a road racing monster, so <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> It's a good bike. It's fast. It's like it's like perfectly sized for a girl. I think, and it, I don't know. It just really goes. It definitely just goes. It goes. It goes. There she is. Audrey's not even. She's just gonna ride at home. I'm just riding straight home. <laughs> Right, I am heading home. We had such a good day today. I think my wrists are sunburned. Um, so we got to ride three different bikes. I switched around with different people every stop. I got to ride the Continental GT650, which they already make, and that's what my road race bike is. Um, but they have two new colors. And um, that bike is just, you feel like you wanna go fast. Like it feels like a ra road race bike already, just stock, you know? It's got clip-on style bars, the rear, rear foot pegs, you kind of sit forward for sure. It's definitely a bike that like, you don't wanna ride far, but you wanna ride fast. Like I had fun lane splitting on that thing and like I would love to just have one. Um, and then the, the new Shotgun 650, um, they just launched that bike like a month or so ago. And then they let us ride that one too. It was, I, it was my favorite to ride out of all of them. Like the best feeling, but it's my least favorite looking. Um, it's a great bike though. Like it's a great bike for somebody who is just getting into riding uh someone who's just learning how to ride and uh yeah I just like it, it's a great bike but um yeah for me my favorite out of all the bikes is the INT 650 it's a bike they already made as well if you follow build train race it's a bike that um the women who do flat track racing they're the ones that use that bike for flat track racing um it's just the cool, it's just the cutest one. It, it's fun to ride. It's like so light, it's so cute. They just came out with two new paint colors. So that's why we were riding those two. And the new colors are so cute. And I just want one, like, I just want one to have. 
I think I just want a lot of bikes, okay? And yeah, I, I like Royal Enfields. I always have. Royal Enfield has had my back over the years. I've done lots of things with them like shoots. They taught me how to road race. I did my whole Moto America road race program with them. They gave me that bike. I'm super excited to have had this day with them and I want to know what you guys think about these bikes. Like, do you think they're cool? Do you want one? Like, most of the people who follow me on YouTube, I feel like, are um, Harley people. Because that's just, like, what I ride. But I've ridden all sorts of bikes. I've owned Yamahas, Hondas, uh, Royal Enfields, Harleys. I've owned, you know? So, like, I do want to always post all sorts of bikes. I never want to get stuck in this realm of like just doing one thing and then when I post something else it's like just flops like I personally want to do all sorts of stuff so whatever you do on YouTube subscribe comment let me know which one you think is your favorite even if you don't like them like comment tell me what your favorite thing about them is and your least favorite thing about them is okay thank you guys for tuning in um, I will talk to you soon in the comments probably all right later